We have a hard topic this morning on Hello Idaho, child abuse. This includes mental, physical, verbal, and sexual abuse. Optum Idaho's Dr. Dennis Woody says one in every nine girls will be sexually assaulted by the time they are 18 years old. For boys, it's one in 53. New this morning, Chase Beefelt and Dr. Woody discuss child abuse and steps we can take to prevent it. Hello, Dr. Woody. Good morning, Chase. So, Dr. Woody, April is Child Abuse Awareness Month, and when we're talking about child abuse, we're not just talking about physical abuse, right? The term abuse includes a variety of different things that can happen to children. Um, neglect, uh, certainly trauma, and also sexual abuse uh, should be incorporated into that that global term. About every nine seconds a child is sexually assaulted and the incidence of this particular type of abuse and damage to children and their development uh, can be manifested many years later even in the context of not just emotional issues but also physical and medical. Now this is a very serious but an important subject. How can someone help to prevent child sexual abuse? You really should learn the facts. Number one, that's step one. Be aware of the scope of the problem. Number two, minimize the opportunity. It's not appropriate in, uh, to leave children unsupervised with individuals that you don't know well. Step three, talk about it with your child. You know, you don't necessarily need to go into uh, specific details, but letting them know what are normal and appropriate boundaries. Uh, what should not occur between someone you don't know well. It's important to stay alert. We all, I mean, we have a wonderful community of folks around this state and, and it's in our inclination to want to trust people, but um, it's important to stay alert and be cognizant of uh, what might be occurring around you with respect to children. Step five, you need to know where to go, who to contact when in fact you have a concern. Uh, that's very important, uh, not to just freeze in place. Step six, you, you want to act on your suspicions. You don't need to be the investigator, but you really do need to be the indicator that there is a concern. Then finally, get involved. Uh, volunteer around these sorts of issues in your community. And you can even donate money to assist with their, their mission points. Those are things that individuals can do, but can a community help to prevent child abuse? They can if you're an educator or if you're someone who has uh, occasion to engage with younger folks. Know those signs and symptoms in little kids that are indicative of concerns about uh, potential sexual assault. Some signs that a child might be experiencing sexual abuse include self-injury, hurting themselves, lack of personal hygiene, and running away from home. If you suspect a child is being abused, you can call 211 with any concerns. So important. If you see something, say something. Thank you.